Welcome! In front of me I have OnePlus Watch 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the lower button right here. Once you see the OnePlus logo on the screen you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. Okay, once the watch turns on, you should see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Find the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you find it, tap on it to select it. Then tap on Next, Next, and you'll see this page. This is the uh, pairing mode for the watch. Once you see this page, go to your phone. Make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, open the Play Store. In the Play Store, uh, tap on search, then search bar and type in O Health and then tap on search. And you should see this application on the list. O Health by Bravo Unicorn PTE, whatever that is. Uh, tap on the app to select it, then tap on install to install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you will probably uh, need to select the country region. To do it, tap right here and scroll through the list. Find the region you want to use, and once you find it, tap on continue. Or rather, select it and tap on continue. My bad. Oh, let's reopen the app. So, open the list, select the uh, region you want, and once you select it, uh, tap on uh, continue. Then agree to the statement and tap on OK. And then you should see the health page. Here, tap on devices and then tap on add device. Tap on allow, tap on allow and the app will uh, show you the list of uh, devices. Select the OnePlus Watch 2. Now it's going to start searching for the devices and it should detect your watch. Once it does, tap on it to select it. Here we can agree to use the, or rather agree to the terms of service for the Google, because this watch is a Wear OS watch, so it has the Google stuff on it. You can also check on uncheck the, or check, check or uncheck the boxes, my sir, my, my, my bad. Uh, check or uncheck the boxes next to the services like usage and diagnostic reports, location and stuff like that. And once you're done, you can tap on I agree. Confirm the pairing on the watch, then here tap on pair. Now check the box right here and tap on continue. You can agree to join the user experience program if you want to. I'm gonna tap on not now. Pre select the preferred wrist. You can also allow the uh, permission for the notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, like calls, SMS, messages, uh, email and stuff like that. If you want to allow it, tap on allow and then tap on allow. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. Okay, and right here we can basically copy a Google account from our phone to our watch. This is useful uh, if you want to use the Google services on your watch like Google Play Store, Gmail and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip this step. If you want to copy the account, uh, as you can see, it selected the account default by default, then we can tap on continue. You can also tap on choose another account to use the different account. And if you don't have any account, probably you will see the option to log in into Google account. I, I want to use this account, so I'm going to tap on continue, confirm with my finger. Or if you have other uh, types of security like PIN, pattern and password, basically you will need to confirm. Right here we can also activate, activate the Google Assistant. To do it, tap on Setup and there, there you will need to uh, select few things. I don't want to use Google Assistant on the watch for now, so I'm going to tap on No Thanks. But if you want to set it up, tap on Setup and there you will need to uh, basically agree to a couple of permissions, I believe. and enable uh, things and basically it will be displayed what you need to do to make it work i'm gonna tap on no thanks 
here we can set up the uh, screen lock for our watch uh, like pattern pin or password if you don't care you can tap on skip if you want to set it up select the for example pattern and then you will need to draw it uh, on your watch and of course if you select pin you will need to enter the pin that you want to use and once you enter the pin or pattern you will see this page and here we can install uh, basically apps that Google is recommending for us. I'm gonna tap on skip, but if you, if you want to, you can check the apps here and you can check them or uncheck them to install them. I don't want to install anything, so I'm gonna tap on skip. And more permissions for the notifications. If you want to uh, receive the notifications when your watch, or rather when your, uh, yeah, when your watch is in power saving mode. So basically, this is asking us to allow the all health application um, to run in the background so so it is able to send the notifications uh, from your phone all the time if you don't care you can tap on skip but if you want the notification to, notifications to work you need to tap on allow and it will bring you to this page and the allow notification access needs to be enabled once it is you can tap here and it's gonna move to other stuff uh, and here we can see the tips how to use the NFC on our watch. And after that, you will see uh, the devices page. On it, you will see my watch and the OnePlus Watch 2 Black Steel, as you can see. We have a hello message on our watch. I'm gonna skip it because I don't want to see the tutorial, but you can go through it if you want to. We have the uh, battery level, and also a couple settings for our watch right here in the more category. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.